Hello, and this is Delia again, and we have another book today. This is called The Haunted House. Scarlett, are you going to hear a book about the haunted house? You know who's in it? Mickey and Donald and Pluto Dog. Let's see. Look at them. Do you think it's scary, the haunted house? Let's find out. Look. <gasps> scary trees and bats. Oh, my goodness. Won't be long. It'll be October. It's August now. So we're getting into October pretty soon. The haunted house. See them in their car? Looks like Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. I mean, Mick Mickey, Donald, and Pluto. And they're going to a haunted house. Oh, my goodness. There's the haunted house. Okay, here's the the bats and the owls. Right here they are in their car. One night, Mickey and Donald were driving down a dark road in the woods. Pluto was riding in the back seat of the car. Bats flew overhead and owls hooted, and the wind blew through the trees. Suddenly, the old car began to sputter. Then it rolled to a stop. What a place to get stuck, said Donald. Mickey checked the gas tank. We're out of gas, he said. They walked down the road looking for help. After a while, they saw a roof above the trees. Let's walk over to the house and ask for some gas, said Donald. Oh, they're going up the road. See them? They're going up that road to that spooky little house. It's called the Haunted House. Just as they reached the end of the path, the moon came out from behind a cloud. There stood the spookiest old house Mickey and Donald had ever seen. <gasps> Look at them. You think they're scared? You see a Pluto. You can't see Pluto, but you can see Mickey and Donald scared. And there's the spooky house. That place looks haunted, said Donald. I think I'll just wait here, said with Pluto. I don't believe in haunted houses, Mickey said. Come with me. So Donald was scared. He wanted to wait with the, with the Pluto dog in the car, didn't he? Mickey and Donald crept up to the house and peeked into a window. I see a light, whispered Mickey. Someone must be at home. Pluto was busy sniffing around. He peeked into another window. In the dark, he saw three shadows, a fat one, a short one, a tall one, and a skinny one. Pluto began to bark, and the shadows disappeared. Donald came over to see why Pluto was barking. He looked in the window, but he could not see anything. Donald and Pluto went to the door. Finally, Mickey rang the bell. All by itself, the door slowly opened. They tiptoed inside. Is anyone home? called Mickey. No one answered. Then bang, the door slammed shut. Pluto jumped into Mickey's arms. It's okay, boy, said Mickey. That was just the wind. A large painting was hanging in the hall. Look at that man, cried Donald. I think he's watching us. Nonsense, said Mickey. He walked closer to the painting and poked at the frame. Zoom, the wall spun around and Mickey disappeared. Look at Mickey. He disappeared into the wall. Where's Mickey, Donald cried. He and Pluto rushed to the painting. Donald touched the frame. And zoom, the wall spun again. And Donald and Pluto disappeared. It's a moving wall. <gasps> Look at that. They were in a dark secret passage. Look at them. There they found Mickey. Too scared to speak. For coming toward them were three ghosts. A fat one, a short one, and a tall skinny one. Go away! Go away! Go away! The ghost moaned. They were trapped. But Donald and Mickey pushed against the secret door. But it would not open. The ghost kept gliding closer. They were trapped. Then Pluto saw a small door in the floor. He began to bark. Pluto has found a way out, said Mickey. He and Donald quickly opened the door. See, he found a way out. Pluto dog did. All three jumped through the opening. 
and suddenly they were falling down, 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 down. Ow! howled Pluto. When they finally reached the bottom, they landed in a large laundry basket. Look at the nasty spiders. There they are. Gonna land in the laundry basket. Mickey and Donald and Pluto peeked out. Creepy spiders were crawling everywhere. Now do you believe it's haunted in haunted houses, asked Donald. We'll never get out of here. Once more, Pluto came to their rescue. He found an old stairway. Mickey and Donald followed him up the stairs. At the top, there was a heavy door. Mickey and Donald opened the door into a dusty old library. Suddenly, three gigantic bats swooped down from the balcony. Whoosh, whoosh, they flew all around. Look at Big Mickey and, and Donald and Pluto dog, scared of the bats. Pluto grabbed one of the bats and shook it back and forth. Sawdust flew all around him. Now I know this is, house isn't haunted, cried Mickey. These bats are fake. They're stuffed with sawdust. But see, they're fake bats. They're not even real. Pluto saw a ghost on the balcony. He barked and barked. I think someone is trying to scare us away, said Mickey. Well, I'm scared, said Donald, so let's go. But before they could go anywhere, a giant skeleton danced into the room. He jiggled his arms and his legs. Get out of this house, he cried. Pluto hid behind Mickey and Donald. They backed away from the skeleton and jumped into a metal door. Pluto did too. Pluto hid behind Mickey and Donald. That's what it says. The door flew open and they stumbled over a large pile of bags. <gasps> there, are th there are money bags from the bank, cried Mickey. Look. See, they fell on the money bags. The skeleton came in glaring at them. He had taken off his skeleton mask. I knew this house was not really haunted, Mickey said. You're the one who's been playing tricks to scare us away from here. I bet you're a bank robber. That is right, said the fat crook. He called his two friends and they came in. They were still wearing their ghost costumes. What are you going to do, asked Mickey. We're going to dump you in the river, said the leader. Then we'll look for a new hideout. The fat bank robber grabbed Mickey. The short one grabbed Donald. And the tall skinny one tried to grab Pluto Dog. But Pluto was too fast for him. He ran under his legs, grabbed a money bag, and raced out of the house. Look, there goes the Pluto Dog with the money bag. The leader called to his skinny partner. Forget about that dumb dog, he said. Help me tie up these two troublemakers. The robbers tied Mickey and Donald together with a long rope. As soon as they were alone again, Mickey and Donald shouted for help. But who could possibly hear them? The robbers were busy packing up their stolen money. At last, Mickey and Donald stopped shouting. They knew it was hopeless. I wonder what happened to Pluto, said Donald. I hope he got away, said Mickey. <gasps> you think Pluto's going to help him? You think Pluto's going for help? Mm -hmm. He's a smart dog. You know he will. Let's find out what happens. Pages are stuck. After a long time, the game came back to get Mickey and Donald. Just as they reached the door, they heard the sound of barking. Pluto raced into the room, and the sheriff and his men were close behind. Pluto ran to Mickey and Donald. Pluto, cried Donald, you came to our rescue. Pluto was very glad that Mickey and Donald were safe. He kissed them over and over again. The bank robbers tried to run away, but the sheriff's men were too fast for them. They caught the robbers and led them to their car in handcuffs. After Mickey and Donald had been united, untied, the sheriff scratched Pluto's head. What a good boy. You sure have a smart dog, he said. When he brought me a money bag, I knew he had found the bank robbers. 
I've seen, I've been looking for them all over the place. And never, nobody could ever find this gang of bank robbers. By the time the sun came up, the old house did not look haunted anymore. The sheriff held up the money bag that Pluto had brought to him. The bank has asked me to give you this as a reward for catching the robbers, he said. Golly, said Mickey, thank you. The sheriff also gave them some gas so that they could drive home. On the way, they bought a bone for, for Pluto. He was the one who caught the robbers, and he deserved a reward. Yay. So Pluto got a big old bone, and they got a big old sack full of money for help ca catching the bank robbers. Yay. And that was called The Haunted House. Did you like that, Scarlet? Was it good? Did you like the book? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was good. I hope you all enjoyed it too. Have a wonderful day. There will be more coming soon. Take care.